To an expert now, CBC meteorologist and seismologist Johanna Wagstaff has been tracking the earthquake for us. Joe, a very busy time. Can you clarify what kind of quake this was? Yeah, Dan, this is what we call a, a crustal earthquake. So shallow in the top 10 kilometers of the Earth's surface, uh, we're putting it about one kilometer deep. And that's partly why so many people felt it uh, across southern BC today. Uh, we get three different kinds of earthquakes. We get these crustal earthquakes. This is taking place in the North American plate. You can see it here from our tower cam. We also get subduction earthquakes. Those are the big, deep ones, that mega thrust, big earthquake that we're waiting for one day. And then we get sort of mid depth earthquakes, hap ones happening in the Juan de Fuca plate around 40 to 60 kilometers. So these are the crustal ones. It would have been a localized fault connected to the subduction that's happening off the coast. That's just creating localized deformation on uh, the mainland. But again, a reminder that we live in a very, very seismically active part of the world, Dan. No kidding. And this wasn't the big one, thankfully. But how rare is this magnitude for our area? So we do see lots of little quakes uh, every year. Most of them we can't feel. Uh, this was a, a moderately sized earthquake, though. Uh, I think the last time we felt anything close to this strength, and I know we've had a few jolts in the past you know, 20 years, was actually 2001. That's when we had the magnitude 6.8 closer to Seattle, and we did see some damage across uh, southern BC. That was one of those mid-sized earthquakes. We've had a few shallower ones since then, but again, magnitude 5.4 uh, is a fair size. And I know we've seen a few different uh, magnitudes come out from Earthquakes Canada and USGS. We're just working to refine that number. There's different techniques that different agencies use. Uh, but, you know, anywhere between 4.8 and 5.4 is very significant, Dan. Interestingly, I calculated the difference between a 5.1 and a 5.4. 5.4 is about uh, three times strong. So it'll be nice when we land on that number to uh, justify the uh, jolts that we all felt. All right. The CBC's Johanna Wagstaff. Thanks so much. You're welcome.